So, Andreas, tell us uh, a little bit about um, your business and how it's become so successful. How it's become so successful? Well, we started in the residential market you know, 15 years ago, 15 to 20 years ago. We increased that to about £1.2 billion of residential property. And just before the crash, we decided to get out, luckily. So we sold most of our stock. And then we've got into the hotels for the last, you know, last couple of years. And what kind of spurred you to get out of residential at that time? Well, we just, you know, we were different to every develop, uh, all the other developers where we were building residential and keeping it for the very long term. So we were very close to the market. We used to let the units ourselves. So we could see how yields from 20% went all the way down to 3%. And there was no signs in the market of this, you know, changing or slowing or stabilising. So it became very worrying to us where, you know, common sense tells you, you know, what we're going to have is 0% yield. So it was a time to get out. And what do you think of the market now? On residential? Mm -hmm. Well, at the moment, we, you know, we, a lot of people call this the uh, recession. I call this the great freeze. You know, there's not much activity. There's not real proof of what's going on or what real values are. So it's going back to basics where you've got to look at return on cash and forget capital appreciation. Unless you're in for a very long term and look over the next 10 years, where residential is still a good asset class, but you need to be buying at least 30% cheaper than it was in the boom and apply a 7% yield. And loan to value, no more than a 65%. And that will keep you pretty safe because we all know that base rate, fixed rates, five, 10 year swaps are going to increase over the next two to three years. So that's a good kind of criteria to work to. And then over the next 10 years, you'd look back and you should have achieved approximately 10%, in my opinion. And what do you see as the, the kind of really big opportunities that, that are on the horizon for you? I know you've got, you're developing a lot in hotels, aren't you? Yeah, well, we've, you know, we've got out of the, you know, most of the residential, as I said, but then we've really got actively involved in unique assets in the hotel industry, where it's very similar to residential to a certain degree, but it does enable us to be very creative and create bars, restaurants and concepts but they've got to be unique locations and you know have you know good growth and the main main project we're on at the moment is the london sign park which is a waldorf historic hotel which is going to be second to none in the sense of quality and service and it's about playful luxury and it's just a phenomenal you know sub we've been building this for two and a half years and it opens in november this year and it's going to be a good investment it'll be a fantastic investment because we're always long term Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you.